Hello YouTube, I'm here today to explain how to set up your Windows 10 computer and your Xbox One so you can stream to your PC and you can use it kind of like use it as your display if someone else is using the TV or you just want to play a game not really want to move and leave well that can be done a couple things you need to know first is that you can't, it has to be done on a Windows 10 computer at the moment I don't know if there's actual plugin or a program I haven't looked too far into it on different operating systems and this feature is available in Windows uh, on the Xbox One so we want to make sure the settings enabled on your Xbox you'll press the option the three little lines on your controller we'll go to settings and here we want to go to preferences so in preferences we want to make sure that allow to stream uh, you can set it to broadcast and all these other ones I have them set up just in case if I want to do that in the future like for twitch streaming and stuff if that's good then we're good from there what we want to note down is that if you go to your network you want to make sure your network is actually on a wired connection it'll still work on wireless but you might not get the same clean uh, video from your Xbox over to your computer it's just going to be a lot more smoother and a lot more cleaner so notice note that I actually am on a wired connection we'll go to advance and we want to mark down our IP address here this is just in case that the Xbox program doesn't populate and actually show your Xbox so then in this case we can enter it manually so now that we got that set up we want to go to your computer now I actually am streaming it from my computer right now so I'm going to stop the stream I'm going to just going to minimize it for now but to find the program you click on start you're going to click on all apps just go to the very bottom and then go to Xbox and opening me back up to my program that I just minimized now we can click on stream you can see that your ex uh, I already have my Xbox connected so before you actually click on stream I guess you'll have see nothing here you want to click on add device you'll see my Xbox populated here or you can type in the IP address of your Xbox and connect it manually since I've already done that we'll just exit out of that we'll go over here and we got a couple con different controls we got to kind of replicate a controller we can t use it as a remote so if you're just playing like TV Netflix or something and you can adjust your volume these features if you want to do channel change and stuff you probably yeah, you would need uh, like an IR remote splitter oh my bad if you want an IR remote splitter plugged into your Xbox so that your TV can actually replicate the signals and go to your DVR box to kinda or your TV just to kinda make it like an all-in-one kind of package now I actually haven't played around uh, with this too much I mostly just plug it to my computer uh, stream it to my computer and then basically play my games on here just kinda like an all-in-one station there's some other more features so you can disconnect it if you want to remove it connect automatically if you want to turn the comp uh, Xbox off or you just want to remove it from your list then you can do that so let's jump back onto here and there we go so it will notify you that someone's connected to your Xbox if someone else was already on it. You can check out your speed bandwidths. So it will differ from game to game. If you do little things, you notice it will spike up a bit. That's just because it's going from like kind of like a still image to actual setting up video. And you can change your video streaming quality. Now, if you're not sure what quality you need to set, you can actually do a stream test, and it will tell you which one is act, uh, which one your network actually works well with it. You can use this as the Xbox button. So let's say if I go to here, oh, completely forgot. I gotta use the controller. You go to here. You wanna go back. You can just press the Xbox Home button on the uh, top bar, title bar over here, and it will just be pressing like the Xbox button on your controller. Now the microphone here actually does work from your computer to your Xbox. So let's say you're on your Xbox, you're playing a game, watching Netflix or something, and your buddy sends you a party invite. You can join in, turn on your mic, plug in your mic, and then you can start talking to them just like how you would regularly on your Xbox. Now, if you want to use your Xbox, uh, your Xbox is very, like, on the other side of the house, your controller doesn't connect to it wirelessly. Well, just take your controller to your room, plug it in by a micro USB, and connect it to your computer, and you can use it just like how you would normally. Just now that instead of wireless, there's a little cable hanging out of it. Now, I can show you what the speed test is like. All you go to do is you want to make sure you click on your uh, DVR, your consoles, or your uh, what's connected kind of thing. 
and just do a stream test. When you do a stream test, you can see how much, like how what you can actually do, which setting is pushing it too much, which setting is good, and I would definitely recommend a wire connection to kind of get the most out of it. So this test is going to take some time. Uh, I'm going to pause the video and then get back to you afterwards. Okay. Okay. So now that we're back, our test results is finished. So you can see here that my low, medium, high, and very high, I get all passes for. So I can do that when I actually go to my stream. And my stream quality. By default, it'll go somewhere between medium and low just to kind of save. But you can definitely tell the quality difference when you're playing games. It's not terrible, but if you want a better response and if you notice it's kind of like jittering a bit, not as smooth, then you definitely want to kind of play with that. Uh, going for like kind of like the statistics over here, you can see what your bandwidth is. That's kind of nice to know. So if you're actually utilizing a lot, you want to utilize more, you can do it like this. Now if you're thinking about actually doing it outside of the home, then we're going to deal with more more issues. This is kind of, there's workarounds to do it, there's ways you can work around it, but the easiest way and kind of like the cleanest way and what it was designed for was just kind of only within the same house or the same network, so to say. So, uh, that's pretty much it. There's nothing else that you really need to do. You can plug your controller in by your computer, start streaming from there and just for the convenience factor of it it's great how xbox actually has well i guess microsoft in general has on the windows 10 systems and their xbox ones they kind of had to utilize this thing back and forth you can play around with the xbox program you can check out kind of like what your friends are posting what games you can see what games you have on your computer kind of i don't not sure actually how they link up you can see conversations what you got activities, uh, achievements, and if you want to see what you have saved currently. Uh, this is what you can do is that if you're playing a regular game, you press the Windows uh, key and the G, and it'll s Xbox would record it, save it, and then kind of instead of using a third party software like uh, OBS, XSplit, there's a whole bunch of kind of name, but those are typically your biggest ones. The store will actually open up a link towards the Xbox uh, store app so if you want to buy a game through there little settings this is your TV listing that I actually do have set up with my Xbox and all these little things I had uh, the game DVR turned off uh, I noticed when it was on before it might have been patched but when it was on before when I was playing games it would be jittering every once in a while so I looked it up and people said turn that feature off otherwise you'll have problems or um, your gameplay won't be as smooth as normal if you don't want the windows record feature then yeah just flip that switch off you can also go here you can turn it off remotely so if you don't want to kind of like if you forgot or you, uh, you you close the stream without turning off your xbox or something you can just turn it off remotely now you can see here it gives us the option to turn it on so you can actually turn it on just from your computer without actually going grabbing controller make sure those batteries plugged in or something okay so this is pretty much a how to video on how to set up your windows 10 computer to your xbox one uh... if you got a question or something like that just throw it in the comments or get back to it as soon as i can i typically like to respond to my comments so it's not a bad thing and take care guys happy gaming